Good morning students. Welcome to the maths class of standard 3. I am Shweta and I am teaching chapter number 4 multiplication and this is video number 2 of this chapter. Okay. So children in the last video we have already learned to multiply two different factors to find out the product. Factors means the numbers which are being multiplied. Okay. So these are these are the factors and the answer that we get after multiplication is the product. Okay. So till last video we already have learned to multiply two different factors to find out the product. Okay. But in this video we will learn to multiply three different factors. Okay. And also we will do how by changing the orders of the factors. Okay. What is the meaning of changing the order of the factors? Here I have written 6 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 5. Okay. What, uh, what I will do? After multiplying this, I will just change the order of the numbers. These numbers will be interchanged to find out the products. Okay. So, should we start? Very good. So, first I am doing here 6 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 5. Okay. How we have to solve this problem? What we have to do? All together can we multiply the 3 factors? No. It is not possible. So, first we have to choose any 2. So, first we are doing the multiplying the first 2 factors here. 6 multiplied by 8. Okay. After multiplying 6 by 8, we will get 48. 6 8s are 48. Okay. And after that, we have got the product by multiplying these two factors. But what about this factor? This also has to be multiplied. So, now we will multiply this factor by this. The product of these two factors. Okay. 48 multiplied by 5. Okay. Now, how we will multiply? We have to put these 48 multiply by 5. Okay. Isn't it? We were using this type of method to multiply. So, here 5 is placed at 1's position. 48 in 48, 8 is placed at 1's position and 4 is placed at 10's position. So, first we will multiply 1's position. Okay. 5 8's are 40. 5 8's are 40. So, from 40, what we will write? The 4 or 0, we have to write only one digit. Remember that? Now, we will write this 0 because this 0 is at 1's position. Okay? Now, after writing this 0 at the last means 1's position, we have to carry forward this 4 where here the 10's position if we will multiply 8 5's are 40. From 40 we will write 0 and this 4 will be carry forward to 10's place. Similarly like that in this type of multiplication also we have to carry forward this 4 at 10's place. Okay. Now 5 4's are 20. Okay. 20. 5 4's are 20. And after 20 we have to add this carry forward number 4. Okay. 20 plus 4 24. Then we will write here 24. So this is the product after multiplication of these 3 numbers. Okay. Now, here in this column, we are just changing the order of the number. We are taking the three number, these three numbers only, but we are just changing the order of the number. Like 8 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 6. Okay. So, what we have to do? First, we have to multiply the first two factors. Okay. 8 fives are 40. 
so we will write here 40 okay and after that we have to also multiply with by this 6 number so we will put the multiplication sign and then we will write this 6 okay now we have to multiply 40 by 6 okay 6 zeros are like we have done in this we also have to like that only okay 6 zeros are first we have to multiply the ones position 6 zeros are 0 6 fours are 24 okay now in this column also i'm just going to interchange the order of this number now what i am going to write here 5 multiply by 6 multiply by 8 okay now first we have to multiply the first two factors okay 5 6 is 30 okay now we have to multiply this product by the last factor, the third factor. Okay. Now this product will become the factor. Okay. First these factors are being multiplied to find out the product. Now this product, the product of these two factors is going to multiply by the another factor. Now this is this also will become the factor. Now we have to find out the product by Multiplying these two factors. Okay. 8 zeros are first we have to multiply the ones position. 8 zeros are 0. 8 threes are 24. Understood this process? Now have you observed anything? That in all these three while I have changed the order of the factors. I got the same result. Everywhere. The same product I got in each way. Okay. So it proves that while changing the order of the factor, it does not affect the product. Okay. The product will remain same. Understood? Now pause this video and write this example in your maths notebook. Now here I have written the two topics. Okay. What we have to learn in this topic? Multiplying by 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 or 90. As you can see here, I have written the numbers in which the 0 number is placed at last. Okay? 0 is placed at 1's position. 2 digit number in which 0 is placed at 1's position. So, in that condition, if we have to multiply any number... Let it consider that I am taking 4. Okay. Suppose I have to multiply this 4 number by any of these number. So what is the shortcut method to multiply this number? Like we have to multiply 4 multiply by 10. Okay. So what is the shortcut method to find out the product? We have to only multiply these two numbers. 4 multiply by 1. Leave that 0. Okay. After multiplication, 4 ones, are, 4 ones are 4 and after writing this number, put this 0 after the product. Okay? So, you will get the answer. Understood? Like now here I am taking the same number 4 into the second number 20. Okay? Now in this, we have to find out the product by multiplying 4 by 20. So, what is the shortcut method? Only multiply 4 by 2. Okay? 4 to the 8. And after that, put this 0 here. Right to the product that we have got after multiplying these two numbers. Okay? Like here again I am giving you example. 4, I am taking this 50. We have to multiply 4, num 4 number with 50 number. Okay. 4 multiply by 50. Here again what we have to do? Just multiply the first number with 4. 4 to 
फोर फाइव सा ट्वेंटी ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट पुट दिस जीरो राइट साइड ऑफ द नंबर मीन्स एट लास्ट यू हैव टू पुट द जीरो अंडरस्टूड सो दिस इज द शॉर्टकट मेथड इन बाय विच यू कैन फाइंड आउट द प्रोडक्ट ओके बट दिस विल बी एप्लीकेबल ओनली विथ द जीरो एट वंस पोजिशन ओके नाउ हियर द सेकेंड टॉपिक इज मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय वन हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड एंड सो ऑन अप टू नाइन हंड्रेड मीन्स वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई एनी नंबर बाय थ्री डिजिट नंबर इन विच द नंबर दैट इज प्लेस एट वंस पोजिशन वंस पोजिशन एंड tens position if we are taking 100 then here ones position 0 tens position 0 okay so multiplying by 100 means any number in which ones and tens at the place of ones and tens zero is placed there zero digit is placed at ones and tens position so what is the shortcut method to find out the product Suppose I am taking the same number four here, and we have to multiply this four by one hundred. Okay. Again, what we have to do? Simply add the first number with the another number. Okay. Four ones are four, and after that, as you can see, two zeros are here. Okay. Since there was only one zero, so we have put One zero at last, but in this digit two zeros are here. Okay, so we have to put two zeros at last. Suppose I am taking the same number four multiply by six hundred. Okay, now we have to multiply this four number with this six hundred number. Again, what we have to do? Only multiply the first digit. Okay, four six the twenty four, and after that put this to zero here. Understood? So this is the way to find the product if zero is placed at ones position as well as tens position. Understood this? So now. write this example also in your maths copy here i have written three different problems we have to solve this first find the product okay as you can see here i have written 18 multiply by 30 okay so we can see as you can see that zero is placed at ones position so what we will do we have to only multiply this 18 by there First digit number, okay. So how do we do? multiply? Three eights are twenty-four. Three eights are twenty-four. Okay. So from this twenty-four, we will write here four. Okay. And this two will be carry forward to tens place. Okay. Now three ones are three. Three plus two. Five. Okay, so now this is the product after multiplication eighteen by three. But we also have to put this zero after the product that we have got. So here we will put the zero. Now the product we have got after multiplication eighteen by thirty five hundred and forty. Okay. Now, now second problem is multiply sixteen by twenty. So first we have to arrange sixteen multiply by twenty is equal to what? We have to find out. Okay. So now as you can see here also at the last zero is placed. Okay. Zero is placed at one's position. So we have to only multiply these numbers 16 by 2 okay 2 six za 12 but we cannot write the two digit number 
So we will write only this 2 here. Okay. And this one is placed at tens position. So this one will carry forward here. Okay. 2 ones are 2 plus 1, 3. And at the last, do not forget to put this 0 right of the product. Okay. So this is the product 320 that we got after multiplying 16 by 20. Okay. Now the third one is multiply 4 by 300. Okay. In this also first we have to arrange the numbers. 4 multiply by 300. Okay. Is equal to what? Again as you can see here two zeros are placed. At ones place as well as at tens place. Hundred, tens and ones. So at ones place as well as hundreds place, zero are placed. Okay. So what we have to do? We have to add these number. Four multiply by three. Four threes are twelve. Okay. And after that we have to put this 2 0. Understood? So this is how we have to solve the problem in the shortcut method. Write this example also in your maths copy.